Welcome back. Whether you love them or you hate them, it's Monday again. But we have the perfect reason to brighten up your day. Nina Struess is here from hy to talk all things spaghetti squash. Hi, Nina. Hi. It's the perfect time of the year to be enjoying this uh, vegetable, this squash here. And we're going to make the perfect side dish that's mm. going to be really great, whether you want to save it for an upcoming holiday or whether you want to get it on your dinner table this week. Love it. Uh, squash is a really easy one that you can meal prep ahead of time. So spaghetti squash in, in general. Today we're going to make a garlic and herb spaghetti squash. So I actually have some olive oil, butter, and garlic that's already simmering in the pan. So and this kind of make it together. The studio smells amazing know. right now. It's going to smell so good. And we're going to be using a lot of fresh herbs in this recipe. Okay. Too. So we have some parsley that's going to go in there, um, about a tablespoon of lemon juice. And this is all going to go in here before we get to our spaghetti squash. I'm also using some fresh herbs here too, uh, which is again, this time of the year you might think, okay, herbs aren't the right. best to, you know, I'm going to hand that mm -hmm. to you, uh, aren't the best to get in right now, but you can actually buy them really easily from the grocery store too. Uh, so we just got some fresh thyme that's going to go right in there. Perfect. And then um, that's really going to help bring the aromatics of this dish together. So that's all gonna go in there and then we're gonna add some spaghetti squash. So Love. this one's super simple. You've got it already done here. But if you wanna meal prep it ahead of time, you can just cut the spaghetti squash in half. Oh, look at that, wow. Yeah, you can cut it in half and then put it in the oven face down for about 30 to 40 minutes, a 350 degree oven. And then you can do this ahead of time and then just um, put it, you can either get the strands out like that and put it in a Tupperware container and save it for later in the mm -hmm. week. Or you can take it straight out of the oven and throw it right into the pan. Again, this is gonna, easy that is. it's so easy. And squash, I'm glad you're doing the work. I know, right? <laughs> I'm glad mine was pre-shredded. I know, right? You got this pre-shredded going, but, and it's a little bit, I will say it's a little bit easier to do too when it's fresh out of the oven. True. But of course, either way, it's gonna come together really well. Now this is a really great dish that you can easily add, you know, maybe some, um, some sausage or mm. if you have some chicken breast, you know, something along those lines. Spaghetti squash is nice, low in carbs, which yeah. is really nice for people if they're looking for a side dish that maybe is a little bit more friendly for their blood sugar control. Love it. And we've got some toasted pine nuts over here as well. We do. So the toasted pine nuts are going to kind of be the last little addition that's going to go right on top of here. And if you want a little bit more color, you can play around with it. You can add more parsley. Mm -hmm. You can add more thyme in there. But again, this is going to be a really nice dish that comes together. Super oh, look simple. at that color. Yeah. Wow. It smells amazing. You can smell it from here. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nina. This is one that's definitely going on my weekly recipe list. Yeah. And it's so easy too. Awesome. Thank you, Nina. And that one was so delicious. To find this recipe and all of Nina's past ideas, you can head over to our website and check out Meal Prep Monday at the top of the page.